Moo cows. Moo. Okay, so update on what happened yesterday. We're supposed to get a 21 mile day in after that wonderful breakfast that uh, Quinn's father gave us at that road while Mr. Jimmy and I believe carried our packs to the Four Pines Hostel. I'll talk about that place in a minute. Uh, I mean, everything was going good. I was going probably a little slow with Quinn, but I think we could have made the 21 miles before night, but that rain, that rain on us on Dragon's Tooth was just too much. I mean, it, it was, it took a, you know, nice hike through a national forest into this is dangerous and we could slip off this rock face and kill ourselves. So it, it really took the let's keep going mood out of us. And Johnny Tsunami caught up with us and he was going to the Four Pines Hostel, which I didn't realize was, you know, <laughs> about two miles after Dragon's Tooth. So, we just kind of thought it'd be a, a, a good idea to call the day short because of the rain and slippery rock conditions. Head on into the hostel. Now, granted, that's making today a 26 mile day into Daleville, into the Super 8, where we've got our rooms reserved. We got our packs, uh, well, our packs will be dropped off there. Um, later today by Mr. Jimmy and I believe. Again, amazing trail angels for 2017. I'm sure they've been doing this for a while, but for me it's 2017 and I'll always remember them. Four great days of trail magic. Just, it, it's so special. Uh, now, I didn't film very much at the hostel yesterday because there was just so many people there uh, from the rain. You know, uh, Impala, Chef, Lazarus, Spice Girl, when when they left in the day shelter they they pretty much thought you know that they were going to do like 30 miles and and just you know do a, do a long day but that rain i mean they might have had other motives whatever i don't know i'm not judging but they were they were all there at the uh hostel and a couple section hikers were in there as well so the hostel okay so let's uh, talk about that I'm sorry I did not get to film the barn. My GoPro was was down in the garage attached to my trekking pole and I was already like you know calling it for the night. I wanted to get to sleep early around seven but man you get that many people together and conversations just keep going so I really didn't hit the sleeping bag until closer to ten. But what Four Pines is, is uh, I'll go ahead and say it's right off the trail because when, you, when the trail hits the road, you just turn right. You know, if you're going north, you just turn right and go 0.3 miles. Boom. There's the hostel uh, up on a hill. So real easy to get to. And... Uh, yeah, that's 
I get run over. So it's it's basically a three car garage that's been you know deepened and expanded and built up. So uh like I said there was a lot of people in there and it really wasn't crowded. There's a couple beds, a couple cots, and uh, sofas, recliners, tables and chairs. And uh, that was uh, that was enough for most of everybody. And uh, clothes lines and hanging areas to where you could hang-ups, any drippy gear, uh, a shower and a bathroom, and a deep sink. They they did some laundry for us, thank you, because my stocks were really stinky, and uh, I suppose I could have, I mean, we probably could have all fit in there sleep-wise. Uh, if we would have like, you know, designated a spot on the floor and hope no one stepped on you in the middle of the night. But he has a barn out back from the chicken coop. And there's plenty of places for hammocks to hang. In fact, Quinn, Johnny Tsunami, and Blueberry all hung their hammocks in the barn. Trey. Carpenter and myself slept in sleeping bags along the back wall, like the back half of the wall, you know, half of each side of the back wall. He's he's built a uh, like four foot wide shelf, and that's you know like foot and a half, two feet off the ground, and that's the perfect size for you know a sleeping pad, sleeping bag. And sleeping hiker. So, uh, Four Pines Hostel, really accommodating. It's donation based. So, you know, I dropped in some money. And, I mean, it, it was, it was shelter from the rain. The barn did not leak. <laughs> and, it was, uh, it was good. Now, when I, when I showed up there yesterday, I, I don't remember the time, probably a little after four, mm, something like that, uh, Mr. Gene, again, a wonderful trail angel, came up and cooked a big old cast iron pot of jambalaya. Warning, electric fence. Well, maybe I shouldn't hold on to this while I'm walking through water. Hmm. Okay. Nope, that's the electric fence. Okay. So it rained again <laughs> this morning. Pretty hard, but we were dry in the barn. And, uh, amazing hiker feed uh, again thank you and all all the other hikers that were here you know thank you as well so that was amazing well yeah today 26 miles got to do it cuz that's where my gear is going to be i can't stop short won't stop short. Uh, carrying the rest of I Believe's grape Kool Aid. Thank you. And got a pack full of snacks. So, don't even really got to stop for lunch. 
It's going to get those miles knocked out today. Because there's a Super 8 with a hot shower and a soft towel. And a comfy bed with Wi-Fi waiting for me at uh, Daleville. So, we got a McAfee knob today in about six more miles or so. So that'll be a nice spot to get some photos on a clear sun shining cloud day. And not too clear, there's, there's clouds up there, but you know. Yesterday was just like like 50 yards of visibility down the trail and it's like, uh, are we just gonna walk off a mountain here or does the trail eventually switch around? But uh, yeah, it was, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna complain about any kind of weather on the trail because I've gotten some amazing weather in February. And March was a different story. <laughs> but yeah i'll take what i get because that's gonna make my trip right. well i messed up i'm here at this information kiosk and i'm on the fire road and i thought this was pretty big for trail but somehow when I came up this way I just veered onto the fire road instead of staying on the trail so I messed up and I need to walk back about a half mile it's not a big deal it's very smooth I'll make up the time and then I need to find the trail and pick it up so yep that's on me I do not want to get to my cat McAfee knob uh, on the fire road, so I'm gonna go back and find the Appalachian Trail. That's on me. I messed up. Boy, that was a goof on my part. I came down Sawtooth Ridge, and there's the trail about 30, 40 yards down the hill. And I'm not going to just bushwhack down there and pick up the trail. No, I'm going to go back and find it where I lost it. But anyways, I came down Sawtooth Ridge and walked across the parking lot. And I saw that silver Honda Ridge line. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to meet that, that nice couple that's doing the sections again today. <laughs> Who knows we might might interview him if I see him this time uh, but then I walked across as far as the parking lot towards an information kiosk because it had a map and I just wanted to see what was up and I saw mr. Jimmy's and I believe Chuck sitting there it's, it's a very distinct looking truck with camper so I was like I know that truck and uh, I walked Walked over and he had the door open, but he was on the phone, so I didn't want to interrupt him. So I went over to the information kiosk, and there were little uh, little single bottles of Coke up on the rafters. So I was like, score caffeine and sugar carbonation, yay! So I grabbed one of those. Chugged it down and uh, talked with Mr. Jimmy for a minute. You know, uh, double assured him that I'm gonna go ahead and make it to Daleville. I mean, it might take me all day and into the night, but I will get there. Might take me even longer if I keep losing the trail. <laughs> 
no but uh yeah so i ran up the well not actually ran but you know i was i was in good spirits up the trail and i think i just you know didn't look where i should have okay so trail was down there and I came from this way the trails right there where does it pick up I see steps right there I came down this way you know and hit this and I'm like well let's go that way I see a lot of people have just gone there, but there's a white blaze. Where does that trail go? I see where I messed up. I see. I was just looking at the ground, following this down. Whoop, about to trip. Uh, so yeah. Got to look up every once in a while. All right. There's the trail. You come down this way. And I mean, look, I mean, it just looks like it just goes. So there's a hard right turn. Possibly, maybe. Nope. Messed it up even more. There's the trail. Oh well. There's the trail. To this information kiosk. Okay. Now I am here. I was up here on the fire road. Now I'm here. And we're gonna hike the Appalachian Trail not the fire road 3.4 miles to McAfee there's a deer It's like, what made that noise? <laughs> that deer is like not concerned with me standing here. Windy. McAfee knob. People. Quinn. Overlook. 
There's an airport. Oh, it's just a beautiful day. Whee! All right, well, 16 miles to go. Two miles an hour, eight hours. Currently around 1.30. So, you know, that's the time I'll be getting to Daleville. But, all my big climbs are done for today. So, it's a uh, supposedly smooth sailing from here on out. Slack packing. Just ate lunch, sitting there at McAfee. And uh, in less than a mile here, there's gonna be a water source. And I'm going to get another liter or so of water. I already drunk that liter of grape Kool-Aid from this morning. So. That's the day. Beautiful, beautiful day. And McAfee. And had a family from just outside of Michigan. The, uh, or just outside of Detroit, Michigan, uh, was up in McAfee at the same time. So, uh, I was able to get out on the ledge and she took a bunch of pictures of, of me, you know, the iconic, you know, uh, legs dangling over the edge, a McAfee picture. Yeah, I know, I'm real original, right? But, uh, I'll toss those into the video. Yeah. Couldn't ask for a better day. Because it was perfect. But it's going to be long. And I'm just going to have to accept it and get to it. <sighs> if you look up there on the top of that cliff between the sets of power lines, that's McAfee Knob. And you see people in their colorful clothes standing on it. There's a half moon out. Whew. All the way across over there, I don't know if you can see it with the sun and the distance, but uh, right near the top of that mountain across the way is Maca McAfee Knob. It's not McCafe. McDonald's doesn't own it. Uh, and so yeah. Walked all the way down this ridge and along the way and back up this thing. We're on Tinker's Cliff now. Long way down. Still a long ways to go. So we get about a half mile of walking on this. blaze in the tree. The trail. Not the trail. The trail.
I mean, it's kind of it's kind of comparable to a McAfee knob with the you know big wide open views. US Highway 220 is 10 miles that way on along the path and that's where we're getting to it is now 521 in the afternoon so at shelter in 0.6 miles we're gonna stop there for a minute we're gonna eat honey buns and Pringles and I do believe I'm good on water for 10 miles and uh, we're gonna find some resolve and some you know determination and we're getting to Daleville Okay, so I was coming from over there, where there's shelter, down the hill. I come across this footbridge. With these white blazes on it. There's a trail on the other side. But then I see white blazes on trees farther this way, and this is a trail. I mean, this this just looks suspicious. That That doesn't look like a legit blaze. So, I don't know what this is about. But I'm going to go this way because I don't see any blazes on any of the trees once you cross this bridge. I don't know what that's about. I know I'm trying to rush the clock and beat daylight here. But man, sometimes you just gotta stop and look at the view. The sun is going down on the other side of that ridge but we still have to go five miles five miles sorry red mage it's five miles i was hoping he would say like three four and he just says five oh, it's all good we got this it's only eight eight o'clock ish it's only 752 752 so that's where we're going to somewhere down there uh, you can't see it because it's dark of course because there's a big mountain uh, excuse me in the way but we got to go up this and then down till we get there three ish miles to go and it is Nine o'clock. Are you ready for your close up? <laughs> the things we find on the trail at night. A frog. And I didn't step on him. <laughs> 